Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jared. And today we'll be talking about the part 2 of talismans. We're going to talk about combinations and we're going to talk about um, the best talismans for each color and the possible combinations that you can get. Alright, so we're going to talk about first the um, grading system for talisman. I forgot to mention this last time. Uh, there are two, uh, three grading system, um, three grades for talisman. First grade, second grade, and third grade. Um, the first one being the weakest, third grade being the highest. So you can see the grade at the top left of each talisman. Um, the higher the grade, the better the talisman. So you would want all your talismans to have uh, at least uh, third and second grade. Um, but there are some good talismans that are first grade uh, talismans, but the optimal talismans are third grade. Next thing we're going to talk about is um, what are the best talismans for each color. So we have four colors, yellow, purple, red, and blue. Uh, for the yellow one, Countess Ring is the best one for offensive stats, um, as you can see over here. So this one's a Countess Ring. The innate stats is crit rate and uh, rare skill damage decrease ignore. And its random effects are both crit rate and physical defense and magic defense, and some penetration as well. So you can... Try to good luck for uh, Countess Ring from Countess of Blood um, Nightmare. You can get it from there. Uh, for the purple one, it's Marlock's Horn. Um, Marlock's Horn has in its stats of penetration and crit rate. And its random effects are physical attack, magic attack, as well as penetration. So you can also get rare skill damage increase ignore. Damage decrease ignore. And Marlock's Horn can be farmed from Marlock's. Just you have to get the... Uh, highest damage or you need to get the uh, random uh, boss box boss talisman box uh, for the red talisman it's talisman of destruction it is the only talisman that gives crit rate um crit damage increase rate and it also gives you rare skill damage decrease ignore and for this talisman you can only get it from um uh, from the shop with uh, 10 plus 1 or the uh, free uh, talisman every 12 hours um, the next one, for the blue one, it is, it's either Zaken's Eye or Blue Talisman of Blessing. So, um, Blue Talisman of Blessing uh, gives you rare skill damage decrease. Um, it, is one, it is one of the few who is uh, third grade for uh, Blue Talisman. So, you, you would want to have the at least uh, third grade so you can get good, you can get good tal uh, random stats. Zaken's Eye is another third grade for blue talisman. It gives you magic defense and physical defense. And since it's grade 3, it also gives you the uh, highest amount of random stats. So that's it for the um, best talismans for each color. Um, you also have to remember that attribute uh, talismans are interchangeable. So you, um, there, there isn't exactly any best for each one. You just have to choose which one gives the... Um, attribute damage that you need. So if you're farming elite, you have to wear, uh, you have to equip on uh, elite monster, elite monster attribute, which is something like this. Or if you're farming magical monsters, this one, uh, this one is optimal. Uh, Demon's trace for uh, for boss, I believe it is this. Wait, yeah, this one. So for boss, it is dragon skill shard. And for normal monster, it's this one. It is Species Blessing. Uh, next, we're going to move on to combinations. Um, so for combinations, I said before in my previous video that you just need the codex. Complete a specific codex to unlock a combination. So for this one, I was able to unlock uh, a level up uh, th these codex. So now I was able to activate them and unlock them. So you just have to keep on leveling up your codex, unlock every single one at least to level 1 so you'll be able to unlock all the combinations and you'll be able to mix and match whatever you need. So for the combinations, there are two good combinations that you can use. The first combination is the rare combination one, this one. And the optimal one is uh, are these two right here. These two gives you the most offensive stats compared to the other uh, combinations since uh, the other stats give you resilience and evasion, while these give you penetration and accuracy. Now, um, for this you just have to wear the specific color. So you have for this one you have to wear five yellow uh, talismans and two reds. So you can equip on uh, five countess ring, one 
one talisman of destruction then you just have to equip one red uh, red attribute one so you can equip this one so you'll be able to uh, get the combination and get it get its effect so these two uh, the other one needs uh, five purple and two yellow um, either of the two are good because for five purple you just you just get five Marlock's horn for the five yellow you just get five countess ring uh, Countess Ring is a bit harder to farm, uh, but it does give you better stats compared to Mordok's Horn. Uh, next one is PvP combination. So, in in the high grade combination, there is one which is the PvP combination. This one is a bit harder to unlock since you will need rare talismans to codex. However, once you unlock it, you will get additional damage from player and decreased damage. Oh yeah, additional damage to player and decreased damage from player. So. Uh, to, un to unlock the combination, you just need to have one red, one blue, one yellow, and one purple. Now, to mix and match this uh, uh, combination, you just wear each one. Then you wear two more yellows, so you'll be on and two more purples. So you just wear three counters, uh, yeah, three counters ring, three more locks horn, uh, one red and one blue. Then you'll be good to go. Um, you'll be able to unlock this combination. You'll also be able to unlock this combination which gives you crit rate and penetration and you'll be able to unlock another one which is this one accuracy and you'll be able to unlock this one which is evasion so that's four combinations at in one set which is for me highest possible cp that you can get and what else um, i would like to remind everyone that you should always check what stats you put don't rely on the cp I know some people who throw who threw away some good talismans just because they have low CP, but uh, like this one, Marlock's Horn, it does give me low CP, but it does give me crit rate and penetration compared to uh, let's say this one gives me more uh, more CP, but it does only give resilience, which I don't really need. Um, just choose the stats and not the CP. Don't rely on CP. CP is just a number. Stats is uh, the one that gives you your battle efficiency. That's it guys, I hope I was able to provide enough information about combinations and what is the best um, talisman. In my opinion, again, it is just in my opinion, For you can ch guys check out every talisman if you want. Um, but so far, those are the things that I've found efficient. Um, to remind you again, it's Countess Ring for yellow, Morlock's Horn for purple, Talisman of Destruction for red, Zakan's Eye or Blue Talisman of Blessing for blue, and for rare combination, 5 purple and 2 yellow, or 5 yellow and 2 reds. And um, for PvP, get the PvP combination uh, by getting one red, one blue, three yellow, and three purple. So that's the best combination you can get. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was informative. But I hope they helped you about talisman. Um, please be sure to hit that uh, like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see y'all next time.